This is Kingdom Full Tabernacle International Ministries. Amen. And on behalf of our Apostle Dominic Ose and Prophetess Leslie Ose, we welcome you to today's program. Amen. I kindly ask for all of us to bow down our heads. Amen. Oh Lord Jesus, we come before you today just to say thank you. From the depths of our heart, we say thank you, oh Lord. Thank you for bringing us here to celebrate our brother Sam and our sister Raquel, oh Lord. Thank you for what you've begun, oh God. Holy Spirit, we cannot do nothing without you. So therefore, we ask that you will express yourself today as joy, peace, love, and goodness. We command the atmosphere over today's program to be conducive to that of your spirit. And we decree and declare open heavens today, O oh Lord. We surrender everything into your hands and into your care. Father God, we say thank you once again. We thank you for what you're about to do in today's service, O oh God. We say thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we all say a big, and we all say a big, Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to welcome the father of the house, Apostle Dominic Ose. Let's give a clap offering for our papa, Apostle Dominic Ose. Amen. 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 Come on, church. Are you excited to be here? Let today be a day of celebration. Oh, KFT, are you in the house? Come on, celebrate God for what he's doing in this house. God is blessing us with marriages. And we give him praise for it. Amen. The more we celebrate, the more he gives. And it's my prayer that every young man, every young woman here will be married because marriage is a good thing. Amen. Amen. And if you are not married today, may the grace of marriage come upon you and may you be married next year by this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we welcome all of you today as we have gathered here in the presence of God to witness the joining of our brother Samuel Champon and our sister Raquel um, Raquel in the holy matrimony before we start we will start with the procession of the parents because the bride is here so we want to begin the service today and so we want to start with the procession of the parents and we will start with the groom's parents and so we will start with Mr. Joseph Ajimai and Miss Beatrice Osei. If they're here, they can just walk down. Amen. Amen. Are they here? Mr. Ajimai, let's, let's welcome them. Mama Beatrice is here. Last year, the enemy was trying to take her out. And today, she's alive to witness the wedding of her firstborn. Come on, celebrate, celebrate God for her life. Oh, you can do better. Celebrate God for them. The devil tried to take her out before this wedding, but God, but God, in Jesus' name, amen. And now we will start with the procession of the, the bride's parents. And I know the father will be walking, the father and the mother today will be walking the bride down. Uh, but we have Miss Stella Ousu as the mother. If she's here, she can walk down just so that we will see her. Let's welcome Miss Stella Ousu. 
Come on, celebrate God for her life, for raising a beautiful girl in Raquel. That today she's ready to be given as a wife. Celebrate our mother. Now we will start with the bridal party. And so, as, they, as they, I mentioned their name, they will come down. Or as they are coming, I'll mention their name. So they can start coming down. Let's welcome the bridal party. Oh, please, you can have your seats. Please sit down.
welcome the ring bearer. Adam, Antonio, Junior. That's right, Adam. Come on, celebrate God for his life. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Flower girls are coming. Melissa and Marlene. Let's welcome them. Man, now with a standing ovation, let's welcome the bride. Who's being walked down by her father. Mr. Edward Owusu. Sweet Jesus. Jesus, you're my melody and harmony. Sweet Jesus, you're the eyes that I see through. Sweet Jesus, yes, I'm dancing to your tune. For as a tear pants for water, so my soul longs for you. Forever and ever, yes. My heart beats for you For as a deer that's the water so My soul longs for you Forever and ever, yes My heart beats for you
solid work out. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-blessed God, we beseech thee to be present and bless this couple as they may be truly joined in the honorable state of marriage. As thou hast brought them together by thy providence, sanctify them by, this, by thy spirit, giving them a new frame of heart for their new relationship. And grant unto them now in the hour of their union and throughout their wedded life, thy heavenly guidance. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, before I proceed, I will need a mic that will be present to the, the, the bride's parents. Now, who gives Raquel Kissy to be married to Samuel Champo? If the mother and the father are here, they can respond. I do it, the father, okay. if you do with me. Amen. And mother, mommy, you want to respond too? You can respond as well. Yes, I'm Stella Owusu. I give Raquel a Sarawa Kisi to Mr. Echampong Samuel in marriage. Amen. Amen. Come on, celebrate God. God bless you. God bless you for releasing. Amen. Now, marriage. It's a gift from God given to us so that we might experience the joys of unconditional love. With a lifelong partner, God designed marriage to be an intimate relationship between a man and a woman. Samuel Champo and Raquel Kissy, because your deep love for each other comes from God above. This is a sacred moment, and it is with great reverence that I now ask you to declare your intent. A successful marriage is not something that just happens. It takes work, it takes patience, and it takes time. It takes a commitment from both of you, a commitment to do whatever it takes to make your relationship thrive and not just simply survive. Samuel Echampo, will you take Raquel Kissy to be your lawfully wedded wife and travel the rest, life, the rest of life's road with her? Will you love her, laugh with her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaken all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. If you will, say I will. I will. <laughs> Raquel, can you see? Will you take Samuel Champo to be your lawfully wedded husband and travel the rest of life's road with him? Will you love him, laugh with him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If you will, say, I will. I will. Yeah, better mic. I will. Come on, celebrate. Amen. Now that you've made your intention clear, you please may have your seat, and the church can also have your seat, as we invite our MC, Brother Elijah Conde, to be the MC. Let's welcome him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Next, we want to go into some scripture readings. Amen. It's very vital that we incorporate the word of God into today's service. Amen? So we want to invite our brother Jamal, who will be giving us our first scripture reading. Let's welcome brother Jamal with a clap offering. Amen? Amen. 
Amen. Reading Genesis 2, verse 18 to 24. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found and help me for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Next, we want to call up our sister Charity Awusu. She'll be reading from Matthew 19, verses 4 to 6. Let us welcome our sister. Amen. Our second scripture reading will be taken from Matthew 19, verse 4 to 6, NIV version. Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the creator made them male and female and said, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together let no one separate. Amen. Praise the Lord. And next, we would like to invite our sister, Rosemary Tutu. She'll be reading from the book of Ephesians 5, 22 to 23. Let us welcome our sister. Amen. 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 We'll take our third Bible reading from Ephesians 5, 22 to 33. And I read, Wives. Submit to your own husband as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. His body and is himself its savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present with the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle, or in any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes it and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a mystery that is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Next, we want to enter into a time of praise and worship. Amen. The Bible said that the shout of the king is in the midst of this people. Amen. And today we have a great cause to celebrate. Amen. So next, we want to invite the praise and worship team, our sister Alexis and sister Jessica, to take us into a time of praise and worship. Amen. Let us dance and celebrate and jubilate for what the Lord is doing in our brother's and sister's life. Amen. Amen. Let us welcome our sister Alexis and sister Jessica, please. With Amen. A round of 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, come on, you can shout a bigger hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let us be on our feet to the glory of Jesus. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Can we rejoice unto Jesus? Come on, you can do better unto the Lord. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, we will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it.
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Wherever you are, I just want you to lift up your voice, lift up your hands. Just give the Lord what's due to him. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Watch it. 
Father, we thank you for today, O oh God. Receive our praise and our worship, O oh Lord, for what you have begun, O oh God. We marvel at your works, O oh God, for what you have begun. And we trust and believe that you will bring it to a perfect end, O oh God. Father, once again, receive our praise and our worship. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. We all shout a big. We all shout a big. Amen. Listen, this is part one. Amen. When we go later on to the reception, we're going to dance and rejuvenate some more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us give a clap offering unto the Lord Jesus once again. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is such a beautiful thing to be standing in the midst of a prophetic word. Amen. So all that you're seeing here, the Lord has spoken, and it is with gladness and joy that we're here experiencing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now that we're in the house of the Lord, the Bible tells us not to come into the house of the Lord empty-handed. Amen. Today, I want us to give a, a, an offering, a thanksgiving offering unto the Lord for what he has done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do through the life of our brother and our sister. Amen. Amen. So with joy, I want us to come dancing with gladness in our hearts and let us give a thanksgiving offering unto the Lord this, this morning. Amen. Once again, we would like to welcome our sister Alexis and sister Jessica. Amen. Let us give a clap offering on as they come up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us all be upstanding. Amen. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, I don't die. You are worthy of it. 
stretch forth our hands towards our offering. Father, we thank you for today, O oh God. Lord, as we brought our offering, offering of thanks unto you, O oh God, we ask that you receive it, O oh God. Lord, let the blessings that come with offering be released unto your people, O oh God. We soak each offering in the blood of Jesus. We thank you for those that were able to give. And Father, we thank you for those that were not able to give, O oh God. We ask, O oh God, once again that you will receive our offering this morning, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. And we all shout a big amen. I want us to quickly go to the book of Proverbs 4, verse 1 to 2, the New King James Version. Amen. We know what the Lord is getting ready to do through our brother Sam and our sister Raquel. They're going to need wisdom and counsel. Amen. Amen. And it says, hear my children the instruction of a father and give attention to no understanding. Verse 2, for I give you good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. Amen. So I want us to prepare our hearts. Brother Sam and Sister Raquel, prepare our, your hearts. Because the Lord has given us a papa over the house that the Lord is going to speak through this morning. Amen. Listen to the words that comes from his mouth because it does not come from him. Because it comes from the Lord. Amen. KFT, please, can we all be upstanding, please, once again? Amen? Amen? With a loud shout and a round of applause, I want us to welcome our Papa, Apostle Dominic Ose. Let us make some noise and welcome our Papa over the house. Amen? Amen. Come on, celebrate Jesus for what he's doing. You can do better than what you just did. Amen. What a beautiful day. Looking beautiful, Raquel. Sam, you're looking handsome. Amen. So, because of time, I just didn't just realize that the time was moving. So, we want to go straight into it. But I just want to give a word, just a quick exhortation. And then we will go into the ceremony. This one has to close our eyes before the Lord. Father, have your way. You are a good God. You are a good Father. You make promises and you keep your promise. Thank you for keeping your promise with Raquel. Thank you for keeping your promise with Sam. Thank you for keeping your promise with this church. We love you, Lord. Today, all we ask is that may your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name. We thank you for every soul here. We ask that your word will bless us, instruct us, direct us, help them by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. 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 Now before you sit, we have great men of God in our midst and women of God in our midst. Let's celebrate God for having so many graces here to usher our brother and our sister into marriage. Amen. We have Pastor George Boa. Pastor George. Hey, Pastor George here. Come on, let's celebrate God for him. Amen. We have uh, Pastor Sylvester Tamaklo. Sylvester. Oh, come on, celebrate God for this man of God. We have Pastor Augustine Amankwa. Celebrate God for him. Amen. We have evangelists. This is my senior brother. Amen. We used to call him CNN. And God has been using him mightily. He's here today to celebrate his nephew. And so let's honor him, evangelist Charles Nemo in T. Amwa. Amen. Back in the day when we were young. Yes. Those are our uncles. Amen. And today he's here to see what God is also doing with our lives. Amen. Let's celebrate him once again. I've known him for many years. Amen. Amen. Okay, so uncle, you say you are uncle, so we don't know to put you as a pastor or uncle today. Uh, but you have Pastor Michael in the house, the prophet. 
a man. Yesterday, he was the one that was doing the MC. And so he's a family, a man. We celebrate God for your lives. And last but not least, I have my beautiful wife in the house. Amen. Our first lady, the prophetess of God, that God is using in this end time to impact many, many, many of us, and also the women in this house. It is a joy to see all of you getting married. Let's celebrate our mother. Amen. Please, you may have your seat quickly. Amen. Now, because it is their wedding, I want to face them. This is the other day. Amen. And so, I want to talk to them and the media, I'm sorry. Because I can't talk to them without looking at them in their face. Amen and amen. Now, one of the revelations God has given me concerning marriage is that we should not enter into marriage with competition. As well as when any time we enter marriage with competition, we negate the idea of marriage. So it's so important that we understand why we married and so that when we get into it, we don't destroy the marriage. Amen. One of the worst things in marriage, a husband and a wife who are married is to be in competition with each other. Amen and amen. Now, what is competition? Competition is a strong sense to feel superior to your spouse or belittle their achievements. I repeat, competition in marriage means to have a strong sense to feel superior or to belittle the achievements of your spouse. You have to understand that you are married. You are marrying not to compete with each other. But you are marrying to be a team. Today, as the Lord brings you together, before the presence of God, you guys are one. You are the same. And so what happened to you happened to her. And what happened to her happened to you. As I'm speaking to them, I'm not just speaking to them. If you are here, God is also speaking to you. And sometimes because of lack of knowledge is why we perish and we destroy our marriages. I pray that with this knowledge, even if you are married, <laughs> it's, not, it's not too late for you to change things. Amen and amen. Now when you jump to Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to 12, Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 12, it says two are better than one because they have good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? Today, Sam, you will not be alone. And if one prevail against him, the two shall withstand him. And the threefold cord is not quickly broken. Amen. Bible said two are better than what? One. So today, as you become one, but you are two, you are better than one. That means the strength that you are using before today, from today, you'll be better than your yesterday. In the name of Jesus. Now, marriage is the only place where one plus one is equal to three. I just changed that. Amen? Somebody say three. 
Because from today, one more person is going to step into their lives. And his name is Jesus Christ. Amen? You have to make Christ the center of your marriage. Without Christ, this marriage has no foundation. And you're going to go through challenges. And I'm not going to lie to you that you will not go through anything. It's a lie. Because you are both coming from different backgrounds. You're coming from different families. You have things that have fought the families that you are coming from. Those things will show up in your marriage. You must be aware of these things. But the Bible says, while men slept, is when the enemy came and so tears. You have to be awake. You have to be awake in this marriage. So that you don't allow, you don't allow the enemy to enter to destroy what God has put together. Two is better than one. Amen. Why? Because they are better together. And they work together and not against each other. That is why two is better than one. You work together. Say we work together. From today you work together. The idea of I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing my own thing. Those, that's, that, is a, that is a divorce idea. But if you really want to make it in marriage for a very long time, you cannot make those kind of statements and you cannot live your own life. <laughs> to make two to become one, it means that you have to lose your old self in order for that to happen. Two are better than one because they look out for each other. Looking out for each other. If the back is bending, you are the one that is to help them to straighten it. If they are fallen, you are the one that will pick them up. The areas of their weakness is where you become strong. As a matter of fact, the only reason why God created you today, as you have chosen to be his wife, is that there are many weaknesses in him that God has put those strengths in you. Never use your strength to belittle him. Because the only reason why God gave you those strengths is because of him. In Genesis chapter 2, let's go to Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Read quickly. Put out the screen quick. Genesis the, chapter 2 verse 18. And the Lord said, and the Lord God said, it is not good that the man, talking about the male, should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Somebody say and help. Who is meet for him? Amen. So God is the author of marriage. It's not the, 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 the socialists or the psychologists who authored marriage. It's not the American government who authored marriage. It's not the Ashanti region, the Ashanti people or the, the Kuyapin people or wherever you come from that established marriage. It is God that authored marriage. And why did he author marriage? This is what he said. That it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. So marriage was established for the man. To help the man. Amen? Somebody say help meet. Say help meet. Now help meet for him it's two things. When you look at the Amplify, he said, now the Lord God said, it is not good, beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper, one who balances him, a counterpart who is suitable and complementary for him. A counterpart balances him. That means that there will be areas of weakness that you will step in a strength to balance him, to help him, to help him to stand strong. Amen. Become dangerous that the weapons and the giftings God has given you to help, you use it to compete. 
not the will of God that you will use your strength to compete against each other. It will destroy the marriage. And the moment you step into that realm of competition, you know that your marriage is going down. It's just a matter of time. Divorce will happen. Amen. Somebody say complimentary. The AMPC version also say it very nicely. He said, now the Lord God said, it is not good, sufficient, satisfactory that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper, meet, suitable, adapted, complimentary for him. Suitable, adapted, complimentary. Amen? Now, the word suitable and adapted is very, very important here. That means marriage is not for competition, but it's for complementary. To complement each other. The word complement means something that fills up. You fill up for each other. Compliments makes you better. That means when you guys marry, both of you should get better. You shouldn't go downwards. You should be getting better. Amen? You should be getting better. That means you are interceding for each other. You are making each other better. You are helping each other. You look at the areas where you are strong and you step up with those areas. Amen. To compliment means to enhance or to provide something additional. God is against competition in marriage. Amen. Now, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, Genesis 2, 24, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother uh-huh. and shall become united and cleave to his wife, uh-huh. and they shall become one flesh. Let's quickly look at this. So for the woman first, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and will cleave to unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Somebody say one flesh. Say one flesh. Say one flesh. Now, for the woman, this is your assignment in this scripture. There's something that you must do according to this scripture. That means that for you, he said he made you suitable, adapted, complementary. So your scripture was the first one, was in 18. 218 is yours, and 224 is his. 218 said, now the Lord God said, it is not good, beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a help, one that balances him, com- counterpart or suitable or complementary for him. So for you, Raquel, let me address you. Your job here is to make efforts to be adaptable. That is how you're going to make the oneness to happen. That means you are entering into Sam's life not just as a hard stone, not just as a hard rock, but you are going there as an adaptable person where you are able to fit areas where there are gaps. You see what I'm saying? Because the two has to become one. So in order for this finger to join with these fingers to become one, there must be some kind of space where this one will fill. You understand? Like this, like this, to fill it up. But if this thing is so stiff like this, there's no way it can fit. Amen? So the woman has to be adaptable. The woman has to be suitable. The woman has to be complementary in order for the oneness to happen. That is Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. Amen? That means that you have to make sacrifices. Somebody say sacrifice. Yes. You're going to have to make some sacrifices in order for this thing to work. According to this scripture, adaptable. Number two, for Sam, you, your assignment here is in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. He said, therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife. And this one, two shall become one. So you must 
you must give up whatever you have to give up in order to avoid competition in this marriage. That's your assignment. You have to put aside whatever you have to put aside in order to avoid competition. You have to be a unit, not in competition. So your thing is to leave everything else that will hinder you from coming together as one. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. It is possible for competition to sneak up. Because you are human beings. And especially if you are an athlete, you are made to compete. And so if you are not careful, competition will sneak up in your marriage. I'm going to give you some of the signs of competition quickly. And there we will go. What does competition look like? Competition is when two people who should be striving together to win, strive over one another. That's competition. Number two, competition is striving to prove yourself better than your spouse. That is competition. You may not think that is competition, but that is competition. You want to prove to her that you are better than her. You want to prove to him that you are better than him. That is competition. Number three, to engage in an unhealthy contest against your spouse. Number four, to strive to outdo and dominate your spouse. That is competition. Number five, to seek personal profit and progress at the detriment of, an, of, of, of one another. The fact that your spouse is not progressing is what fuels your joy. You know, there are people that the fact that their spouse is not working, they are happy. It makes them feel like, yeah, now I can be the man. Because now you are not working. Now I make, I make the money in the house. That is competition. Or the woman wants a man to not make anything so that she can feel like she is the one running the house. That is competition. We do marriage wrong if we do that. Amen. The dangerous... The dangerous thing about competition is that many spouses who are in competition don't even admit that they are in competition. Hmm. To see your spouse and to stand against your spouse is as an opponent, a rival. That is competition. Now, what are the things you hear and see that makes it looks like there is competition in your home. These are some of the sayings that you will hear. And if you are married, please take notes of these things. And you too, take notes of these things. And never say this. Number one, self-pride and promotion. When you are in the house and you begin to say, if it is not me, you will not be here. If it's not for me, you will not be beautiful. If you have to keep emphasizing how you are better and higher than the other, it shows that you, there is competition. You always emphasize, yeah, it is me. I'm the one that brought you to this country. I made you who you are. Right there, you are already competing. So stop making those statements. Yes, I bought you this house. And you are always making it known. You, you keep emphasizing of how you have made the other person better. You are already in competition. So you don't even know. Number two, if you are always measuring your inputs, especially if it was done to better your spouse. Yeah, I'm the one that taught you how to speak English. And I'm always letting you know. And I'm the one that bought your ticket to come to America. And I'm always letting you know. I'm the one that paid for your school fees. And it says, it is, it is a statement that is always coming out of your mouth. You want to prove to that spouse that you are better. You are the one that is the ogre in the house. And she must respect you. She must be quiet. And because you are the one that is doing it. You are already competing. You are competing. Amen. Stop emphasizing also on your roles. You say, if it's not who, if it's not I, who did this, 
No one else will do it. Oh, nobody will help you. And you are always making us know that you are the one that did it. You are the one. You are the one. Hey, say, Lord, help us. You keep emphasizing on your roles that you play in the house. If you're always saying, yeah, I am the one that always take care of the children. You don't do nothing. Hey, I'm the one that always shower them. I'm the one that pay their school fees. And you make us know that you're already in competition. Amen. The law said that we must complement, not compete. When you are always running down your spouse, always talking about the weaknesses of your spouse, you are already in competition. You say, I am, you say that I am just telling you the way you are, if you will. Like, change. You know, sometimes you get those kind of talks where they tell you, they want to tell you how weak you are. Not in a good way, just to make you feel like you are weak and weak more. It is competition. Now, there's a nicer way to allow, to let somebody know so that you help them. But if your intention is to let them know how bad they are as a person, you are not complimenting, you are competing because you want to make yourself feel better than your spouse. Amen. Avoid it. Somebody say avoid it. Say avoid it. Say avoid it. Also, if you can't celebrate your spouse, you and you cannot stand that others are celebrating your spouse, you are in competition. And people are wishing your spouse well done. Or you don't you don't you don't even wish your spouse well done. And you get mad that other people are wishing them well done. You are already in competition. If you are here like that, repent. If you also, if the setback and the downfall of your spouse make you feel happy, then you are an agent of competition. Yeah, she lost the job. Yes. <laughs> She failed the exams. Yes, now she can submit. <laughs> You're competing. Remember, who she is is to, supposed to help you as a man. That's what I say. Don't use your strength to fight the person that you were created to help. Does that make sense? Are you here in the house? Hey, Amen. What time do I have? <clears throat> We're about to close. Amen. May we avoid competition in our marriage. How do you defeat competition? See everyone's success as a collective success for both input and harvest. If your spouse wants to go to school, join them in prayer for the education. Intercede for them. Amen. If she wants to do a business, help. If he wants to start a business, help. Amen. <laughs> Don't say, well, you go figure it out. We did not get married to figure it out by ourselves. Then we should have stayed single. Amen. Well, you want to start a business, go do your own thing. Those things are not marriage. Those are single life. It is our business we start and we join together and we come up with a plan. So yes, as a woman or as a man, you may have the more ideas. Bring it on board. Don't say, well, you figure it out. Or you go fail. When you fail, then I will come in as a savior so that you will know that, yes, I'm the one that is smart. You are competing. Amen. Say, Lord, help us. Now, also use every potential you have for mutual edification. 
I keep saying that. Use every potential you have as what? As in for mutual education. That means to build each other up. What God has given both of you, you use it to build, not to tear each other down. If you have intelligence, use it to build up everybody. If you have favor, use it to build up everybody. If you have a platform, use it to bring up, accommodate your spouse on that platform. Pull them along. Don't go alone. Amen. Use your giftings to help each other. Amen. Remember, don't go alone. Take your spouse with you. Number three, communicate regularly to reassure your spouse of how valuable they are in your life. Recognize them for their role in your life. That will avoid a lot of competition. Also use your success to inspire your spouse to upgrade themselves. Amen? Discuss plans and pursue together for each other's inclusion. You have to include each other in your plans. Not exclude each other. Don't, don't go and make the plans and then come and tell me. You understand that? We sit down and we come up with a plan. We include you, everyone in the plan and then we go ahead. Amen? Also, recognize each other's area of strength and advance mutually. Recognize it and use it to advance. Also, openly and cheerfully celebrate each other's success. Openly. Celebrate each other's success. Amen? And learn to make necessary sacrificial adjustments to assist and accommodate each other. That will help you to not compete against each other. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Now, to conclude this, I received a text message from my spiritual mom this morning. It was, you know, she sent these mass texts every, every morning. I get them. And I looked at them, and this one was very interesting. And this one says, in Malawi, a book titled, How to Change Your Wife in 30 Days. And that book sold 2 million copies in one week. Before it was discovered that the title had been spelled wrong. When the title was corrected, it was said, the title was corrected to how to change your life in 30 days. Now, for that particular book, how to change your life in 30 days, that one sold just three copies in three months. Now, the moral of the, the, moral of the story or the lesson to learn is that nobody wants to change himself or herself. But they will do everything to change someone else. Let's strive to change ourselves first. In other words, let's be patient and tolerant one another. We are born to live together. Love is life and life is love. The easiest way to change people is to change the way we respond to them. So it starts with us. Please, it starts with us. There will be so much temptation for you to change each other. You're like, yeah, Sam, yeah, I got him. Uh -huh. You have a whole image of a man in your head. You want to change him into that man. You, are, you have a whole image of a woman in your head. You want to change her into that woman. That is not your place. Your place is ask God to change you. Because you are coming from different backgrounds, what you think is right may not be right. How you handle some things may not be. So tell the Lord to make you better. And when you get better, everybody around you will be better. In Jesus' name. Come on, give Jesus a big praise. Amen. So that is the end of my message. I want us to be on our feet.
how to change your wife in 30 days. Three, within three months, three million was sold. How to change your life. Three months, only three books. Three, three months, three books. Nobody wants to change. We always want to change the person that we married. Amen. I want you to pray that, Lord, you have spoken. May this word be established in my life. Give us the grace not to compete, but to compliment. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you are here, and if you compete, and repent. Ask the Lord to forgive you. By the time you leave here, you're leaving here as a new man and a new woman. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. So now we will go into the exchange of vows. And so I would like Father Sam, Sister Raquel to come before me. Amen. That's right. They got their mics on. I want you to look at each other's face and look at each other, hold each other's hand. Is it better this way or I should turn this way? Okay. So pull it. And let's turn. Okay, so that you guys can look. Perfect. Give me my iPad. Today, today. Today, today. Jesus who do wonders. Say I, then you put your name. And when I say D, it's like we went over. Don't be nervous. Amen. So Sam, you go first. I. I, Samuel Achampo. Take D. Take D, Raquel Kisi. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poorer, for poor, in sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, to love, to love, and to cherish, and to cherish, till death, till death, do us part, do us part. This is, this is my solemn vow. My solemn vow. This is your covenant. It's not a prophecy. Because most people think, oh, why you say the richer and poorer? Why don't you just say richer, richer? You are not prophesying. You are establishing a covenant. If you want prophecy, we can do that later. But right now, you are establishing a covenant to each other. This is your covenant before the Lord. And I feel him all over this place. In Jesus' name. Now, Raquel. I... I, Raquel Kissy. Take D. Take D. Samuel Kwame Henson Echampo. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. 
to have, to have and, to hold and to hold from this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Till death. Till death. Do us part. Do us part. This is, this is my solemn vow. My solemn vow. Remember this when the challenges come. Remember when you feel like giving up. Remember. Remember your vow to each other. Remember when a girl is trying to tempt you that you made a vow. Remember the vow. Because sometimes we rush this. We have no understanding of what we are doing. But before God, you are making a covenant with each other that this is to death do us part. This is for better and this is for worse. For richer and for poorer. You get it? Amen. In sickness and in health. And if you are here married, remember your vows. Jesus name now we go to exchanging of rings and I would like for Sam to give me the rings I want us to stretch forth our hands towards the rings we want to pray that this ring being a symbol of their lifelong commitment to each other. May the Lord honor it and bless it. And may the Lord recognize this as a sign of their covenant. I want you to raise up your voice and pray on this. Yes, Lord. In the name, in the name, Father, we present these rings before you as a sign of the love they have for each other. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will honor these rings, bless and sanctify them. May this ring be a symbol of their love in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that your blood is sanctifying it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Amen. So Sam, you will take the rings. You can start with the engagement ring. And I want you to say this and add, add the wedding banner to it at the same time. As we put both of them on. I want you to say this as you are putting the ring. You have to understand that this ring is a symbol of your lifelong commitment and abiding love which you as a husband you are promising to your wife and your wife will be promising to your husband now as you put the ring on, i want you to look at her face because you are marrying her not the ring look the eyeball to eyeball as you say this after me I want you to place the ring at the ring finger and as you look at her you put it on amen amen say i give you this ring i give you this ring as a sign as a sign of my love of my love and faithfulness and faithfulness in the name of the father in the name of the father of the son the son and of the holy spirit the holy spirit amen, amen. Raquel, I want you to look him Ivor to Ivor. As you place a ring on his finger, say, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign. As a sign. 
of my love, of my love and, faithfulness. and faithfulness in the name of the Father in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Spirit put it on push it all in there that's right amen 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 now I want us to pray for them first before I pronounce them to kiss each other somebody say prayer, prayer. say prayer. prayer say prayer. prayer so I would like to invite all the men and the women of God in this house to come up here and we want to pray for them as a, cup, as a couple first they've shared their vows I want us to release prayers and then I've declared them in the name of Jesus. Amen. So Pastor George will pray for Sam and First Lady Leslie will pray for Raquel and then I'll do the last prayer to bring them together. Amen. And then... Um, I want us to surround them if we can, please. Just like this, man. Amen. I want us to, you guys can kneel down now. Yes. Amen. I want you to stretch forth your hands towards them. I want to pray for them that they will succeed in this marriage, that the blessings of God will overshadow them, that they will complement each other, they will love each other. Pray against any curse, pray against the forces of darkness that will rise up against this marriage. Pray against any embargo, pray against any resistance, pray, pray, pray against divorce, pray against divorce, pray against struggle prayer against barrenness prayer against pray for them 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 lift up your voice and pray Yapan Talabasi Brandida da Bacapaha Talalalalaba Supra di da da Bacapaha Yapan Talabasi Candila la Basuka de Lebosata. Somebody pray for them. The presence of God is in the house. In the name of Jesus. First lady, please pray for Raquel. And Pastor George, you'll pray for Sam after, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, today we thank you. We glorify your mighty name. Today, oh God, we thank you for the life of Raquel. We glorify you for the life of Raquel. Father, Lord, we thank you for how far you have brought Raquel. Jesus. As as the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, we ask, O God, that your eyes would be upon her. That as you release the grace to be a wife, that you would allow this one to settle into the court that which women who are aligned only can enter. I ask, O God, that your ears be attentive to Raquel's prayers. I ask, O God, that the grace to be a wife be poured down upon her. 
Today, oh God, I ask you to open her eyes. Allow her to see the things of the Spirit, oh God. As she enters into wifehood, oh God, give her the tongue of honey, oh God. I ask that you open her mouth wide and fill it with your words, oh God. That she would be a wife that speaks wisdom and wisdom alone. I ask, oh God, that her heart would be for you and you alone. That she would see her husband and be aligned just as you have asked us to be. Today, oh God, I ask, oh God that as the grace of a wife is being poured out onto her, that everything that Raquel shall touch in her wifehood, that you, O oh Lord, would bless and bless it indeed. As she has become favor to this man, I ask, O oh God, that the portals of favor be opened onto her, O oh God, that as she acts, O oh God, that she receives, O oh God. I ask, O oh God, that today the grace to be a wife be poured upon Raquel hell the things that fought her mother will not fight her the things that fought her father will not fight her in the name of Jesus we come against every spirit of divorce we come against every spirit of contention we come against every demon that stands at the gate today I stand as a force that this one cannot be touched that this one will live a long prosperous life as a wife that she will enter into the hundreds with her husband Raquel today may the wells the wells of favor be opened unto you may the Lord supply all your needs according to his riches may the Lord seek you and find you in his holy place may the Lord be Jaira unto you may the Lord be Nisi unto you May the Lord be Jehovah Rapha unto you. May the Lord be your banner. Today I pray for you. As a mother in the spirit, I pray that the grace of fruitfulness would be your portion. Today we unblock the wells. We unblock the wells. We unblock the wells. Today I prophesy babies into your womb. I prophesy healthy children into your womb. You shall not struggle in the area of childbearing. You will be fruitful and multiply. I speak into your economy. Your economy shall be fruitful. You will not lack in the area of finances in this marriage. In fact, you will triple and quadruple in the area of your finances. Raquel, you are blessed. May heaven receive you as a wife today. May heaven open up for you today. May heaven open up for you today. May heaven receive you as a wife today. We call you blessed, Raquel. We call you blessed, Raquel. We sanctify you in the blood of Jesus. I cover the soles of your feet with the blood of Jesus. May the enemy not be able to track you in your marriage. Today I ask that as you are on your knees, may this continuously be your posture. May you carry the posture that throughout the bad and the good, you will seek after Christ. But the Bible says that Moses sought after the Lord. Today, may you continue to seek after the Lord. Today, I prophesy strength unto you. I prophesy riches unto you. I prophesy motherhood unto you. I prophesy 120 years of wifehood unto you. I prophesy health unto you. Today, you are blessed. I bless you as a mother. I bless you as a mother. I bless you as a mother. May the Lord hear your cry every time. We thank you and we glorify your mighty name, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our dear Lord and Master, what do our eyes is beholding look so beautiful. This we can testify and say it is not the doing of a man. This is an institution that you and you alone created. 
And as today you have given your man servant the opportunity to step into it, Lord. We offer prayers on his behalf. And what we are asking for is that, oh Lord God, that you will grant him the wisdom, the intellect, Lord, with which to manage and to hold this house together. I pray for your man servant, oh Lord Samuel. And I'm asking that in the mighty name of Jesus, the grace that you even gave to Isaac, who when he has found weakness in his spouse, did not make it a public or oh God agenda, but went between the porch and the altar and cried out unto you for you to respond from heaven. Amen. I am trusting you that this man would not leave that place in the name of Jesus Christ. And oh Lord God, just as you also did for Isaac, that even King Abimelech will come to him and say that you are too rich, get away from us. I am declaring and declaring, Lord, divine prosperity to hold this marriage. Anything that money must answer in this institution, let your man servant to God have the grace to be able to provide it. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I declare that the Atoras and the Mazaros will work to your advantage. The sun will stand still until every battle that will show up in this marriage, you have had an upper hand over it. In the name of Jesus Christ, anything that will chase you. The earth crust will open and swallow it in the name of Jesus Christ. I invoke the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of bulls and cows. It will speak on your behalf in the morning. It will speak on your behalf in the afternoon. It will speak on your behalf in the evening. And when you are asleep, it will speak on your behalf better things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I am also asking that you will let some understand that the woman is not in a competition with him, oh God. But she comes in as the help meet. And your interpretation of the help meet, oh God, is the palacletos. The first time it was used is for the woman. The second time it was used is for the Holy Ghost. That means the woman steps in as his spiritual acumen. May he have an ear to listen to her. Let him speak her language, oh God. Honor her, respect her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am believing in you and trust you in the Lord. This marriage and the wisdom with which you give to some Lord will even compel many who have made their mind not to want to marry they will have a change of mind because of this institution and what we are witnessing today and I'm believing you and trusting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ your shakana glory will continuously rest upon them from now till death do them part may your glory be seen may your power be evident just like the other day your word declared once when I was a child I taught like a child but now that I become a man I'm going to be risen like a man may your man oh God some be able to transition from the childhood oh God into this institution and the responsibility that comes along I ask for wisdom I ask for patience and ask for fortitude in the name of the one who died and rose triumphantly on the third day, the name Jesus Christ. Amen. Wipe off your hands once again as we pray and usher them into this marriage. Father, I lay hands by divine ordination. I present Samuel and I present Raquel before you right now. Uh, it is you that authored marriage. You said that it is not good that the man should be alone. Therefore, you made a help meet suitable, adaptable, complementary for him. I uh, pray right now, present these two before you for marriage. Oh Lord, accept this marriage. Let this marriage be confirmed in heaven in the name of Jesus. 
let this marriage be confirmed let this marriage be established in the name of jesus i make an announcement in the second heavens in the third heavens that sam and raquel have been joined together by you alone but what tool that you have put together let no man put asunder let no curse put asunder let no altar put asunder let no witch put asunder let no power put asunder Sam, I lay the right hand on you as the leader of this house. May the grace of leadership be released upon you. May the grace of leadership be released. May you arise. May you arise. May you arise to lead this family in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this marriage will double you. It will double both of you. You are living here. Bless. 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 For he said that he that finds a wife finds a good thing. And obtain favor from today. Favor is your portion. May you be favored in the name of Jesus. I declare an open heavens over this marriage. Raquel, receive the grace. Receive the grace to be a wife. Yes, Sam, receive the grace to be a husband. A God-fearing husband. A God-fearing husband. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace to make marriage work. Be blessed. Be favored. I declare that the struggle has come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Today, I command an end to every struggle. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I usher you into blessing. The same God who blessed me. From the day I got married. May the same God bless you. Amen. May you see fruitfulness. Amen. May you never struggle in any area. Financially, may, it, may there be an overflow. May the Lord usher you both into the millions. May you begin to acquire properties. May the Lord establish you. May the Lord give you influence. May the blessings of the Lord that is in this house fall upon you. I declare this marriage blessed in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that you are standing here putting them together in Jesus' name. Now, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give this marriage peace. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let's say the Lord's prayer together. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, and Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I declare you married before the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may now be on your feet. And let me make the public declaration. And then we leave. Amen. 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 Thank you, men of God. God bless you. Amen. 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 Let's give them a clap offering. Now Sam and Raquel, Samuel Echampo and Raquel Kisi, having witnessed your vows for your marriage before God and all who are assembled here, by the authority invested in me as an apostle of God's church, 
I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Elijah said he did not see it. So if they say they did not see it. third day Jesus resurrected but a Desmond say he did not see it gonna we need two witnesses from both families just one from each family and we're gonna sign their marriage certificate and when they come out they will come out dancing and then I will introduce them before they come out and they will come dancing amen and so while we are going we would like the, the praise team to just keep the atmosphere for us please two witnesses from each side can I have two witness one from the the, the groom side and one from the bride side. Daddy, you can come up, mommy. You can come up, please. All right. Can you lead them into the the conference room? And Sister Alexis can come and then we will come back. Amen. God bless you.
Amen. 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 We're doing something different this time. And so I'm going to introduce the newest couple in town to you, ministers, friends, and family. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Echampo. Behold.
Amen. 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 I know that the reception is 30 minutes away, I believe. 40 minutes. 40. <laughs> Amen. And so I want to release you so we can get there on time. We will continue the, the celebration at the reception. Amen. And so I pray for all of you that came that the Lord will carry you safely to the reception hall. We cancel every tragedy. We cancel every accident. We pray that the Lord himself will protect you. And if you came here with a bad marriage, may you leave here with a good one. If you came here single, may the Lord release your spouse. I pray that the grace of marriage will be extended to all of you. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you, keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you, cause his glory to shine all over you. May the Lord keep his promise concerning you and grant you peace all your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we will recess and then the families can come back and take quick pictures and then we, you are free to go to the reception. You, we will see you there. Amen. And so as they came in, they will go back. Amen. And then we are coming back to take pictures and then we will release. Amen. God bless you. Amen. So Sam, let's recess. Amen. Play something for them as they recess. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah overdo. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mountain mover, my lover. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah overdo. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty words. Mountain move my love on your name and mine. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol.